Lauren, so thankful and grateful to be connected with you. I love all the stuff you have going on. It's been amazing connecting today. Here on Reinvention Daily, everyone's new favorite question, what is one thing you've had to reinvent right now? The one thing that I have had to reinvent right now is my relationship with the unknown. Uh, I think this pandemic and everything that's been piled on top of the pandemic has created a lot of uncertainty and a lot of fear of the unknown. And with that comes a lot of anxiety. I don't think it matters who you are or what you're, you are doing. Most of us are moving through some form of stress and anxiety right now. And for me, in order to access being comfortable with the uncomfortable, I really had to lean into my breathwork practice. Uh, and through my breathwork practice, gained the courage to start teaching breathwork. Um, and extending, working through, moving through the unknown for myself to others and helping us all kind of get through this really difficult time with a little bit more grace and a little bit more ease by just accessing our ability to breathe. Um, and breath work just as like a quick foundation uh, laying is a an active form of meditation. It's breathing um, intensely for about 30 minutes um, and it helps regulate the nervous system so that you can access altered states of consciousness. Um, and that has a whole host of benefits of helping with anxiety, helping with relaxation, um, helping with creativity and courage. So it's it's been a lifesaver for me moving through this time is just reinventing how I look at getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and the unknown. You've leveled me, Lauren. I love everything that you're saying and just chatting about this beforehand just is a beautiful thing that you have enlightened us all with. And I applaud you times a million for what you have found in just embracing the unknown. It's a beautiful thing. You know, vulnerability has been something that's been very near and dear to me recently, and I've embraced it with open arms. So just you reassuring that and just validating that for all of us is, is huge. And it leads me to my next question is, what's the new conversation that you want to start as you move forward? The conversation I would like to start and what I would like people to kind of reflect on is the aspect of the quality of our breath kind of dictates the quality of our life. And so many of us spend a lot of time really breathing shallow and cutting off our breath, which makes actually causes anxiety, um, causes chest pain, causes body tension. If you're not breathing through your belly, you're, you're disconnected from your gut, which is where your intuition uh, lies. So I really want people to start taking inventory of how they feel and how they're breathing throughout the day and kind of catching when they aren't accessing a deep breath, can they stop in that moment and just slow down and start breathing and start seeing how that shifts the way they feel and shifts how they're able to move through the world and be more open to discussions, be more open to whatever challenges they're going through um, because there are so many right now. So yeah, I, 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 it's something that I've been taking inventory for myself. And I think we all would benefit from paying a little bit more attention to the quality of our breath and how that impacts the quality of our day and our life and moment to moment. <laughs>